Okay. I might have this. Because I tried to have this before and it just looks like a lot of flesh. <laughs> wow, so many considerations. So we have we got the content. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ethan Chang and I'm a Master of Architecture student at the Yale School of Architecture. And today we're doing a, a Yale School of Architecture Q&A with um, my friend Ethne. Hi guys, I'm Ethne. I'm Ethan's classmate. I'm also doing a um, master's degree at Yale Architecture School. Today I thought what we would do is that we would do a Q&A session and talk about our first year experiences at Yale. Well, before we get into that, Ethne was a, a remote student last in the first semester at Yale, and I was here in person the entire year. Um, yeah, actually, we haven't mentioned how we met actually, because you came in January and yes. I was already here. Yeah. And you showed up one day in the, the two fifth floor studio, um, and you came to say hi to us. And we already kind of knew each other. Yes. So I think I knew about you because we have like a. A Facebook group of like our entire cohort, and also we have like we were connected on Instagram way before. So we, I wouldn't say stalk, but we looked at each other's things. And I saw your like previous <laughs> YouTube video on this amazing portfolio. So that was like how I knew about you. So I knew your name and your face before coming. Yeah, I knew her from. I think we were in we were in one class together. We were in formal analysis, oh. but I we only knew I knew of you from the Zoom background. Oh, right. And I knew her work, I knew yes. her drawings, because we, we had to do virtual pinups. Mm -hmm. um, but then I think I remember watching over Christmas break, and then I was like, oh, Ethne shared a, a, a YouTube channel on her Instagram. I was like, oh, this is Ethne. <laughs> and then it was weird when we first met, and you introduced yeah. yourself, and I was like, I know you. <laughs> yeah, same. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's how, we, and then the rest is history. So how did you find being a remote student at Yale? Okay, so being a remote student, before I decided to study remotely, I definitely didn't expect remote students to be like a minority within the year group because that was like kind of reaching the peak of COVID. I thought at least half of the year group would be online or like not attending school in person. But it turned out there was only around like eight of us out of 55 students that were studying remotely. So at some point, I definitely felt a little left out, not because anybody like excludes me, but just because I was in a totally different time zone from everybody. So um, classes were often at night and I could like, a lot of the Zoom sessions, like hangout sessions with everybody else would be like, would not be at a time that's like accessible for me. So it was a little like hard to connect with people, but it was generally okay. So as a remote student, did you feel like it was harder to make friends? Like how did you develop friendships amongst mm -hmm. people in your class? I guess it's hard to develop like real friendship without seeing people, at least for me. Like I'm not a huge talker on the internet, but I think the way I did was that um, I followed a lot of classmates and they would follow me back on Instagram or like Facebook. And then we would always like see each other's activities and like see what people are working on on like Instagram story. And we would like have small chats. Like people knew that I was remote, so they would like approach me with small chats and we can like talk about like little things. So that kind of like built up a foundation before coming in person. So I already like have talked to most of the classmates, or at least I think like half of the class before coming here. So I guess I knew a lot of people, but I was just like acquaintance with them. Mm -hmm. So I guess that was a preparation for friendship, but I wouldn't call it a real friendship. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So how was your in-person experience as opposed to mine? I really enjoyed the first semester. I think last semester, the second semester, we were entirely remote, so I, don't, I think definitely oh. there, I experienced some change. Um, but the first semester, especially in studio, I was thankful that was all in person. Right. So I was really grateful to my critic Nicole, who came, who made the effort, um, and because she was able to come, all the students were also be able to come. So we got actually got to see everyone's models and their drawings, um, and just actually have a discussion, which I really appreciated. And that was probably one of my favorite studios I've taken That's ever. Great. Yeah. Right. It's very unique that during the COVID period, you guys are able to like obviously wearing masks and socially distanced, mm -hmm. but still have this in-person experience yeah. in the studio. 
which is like crucial for architecture study. And I realized also, especially in that course, that like how important it is just to have bounce ideas off of one mm. another. And I feel like that's one thing that about Yale, which I really appreciate, is just how comfortable people are yeah. about helping want each other out and like giving ideas and supporting Definitely. each other. Um, Definitely. So that's yeah, that was a great class. What about you? What was your favorite class this past year? I wouldn't say I have like one favorite class because each class is like different. Some are remote, some are in person. But I would say that um, structures class in semester one was quite unique because despite being completely remote, our professor really like put in the effort to get to know every one of us and have like small talks before class, which is, I didn't realize could happen on Zoom. And as a remote student, I felt really cared about and I felt very included in that class because even though we have like 30 students, he would like ask each individual one of us how our day was, our outfit, and like how we looked. Well, in a completely respectful manner. And it was just very nice and intimate as an online class. And I felt like I learned a lot about our peers in that class and including their personalities, their background. It was just a lot of like casual chit chat, um, which doesn't usually happen on Zoom class. Usually it's just like the professor delivering um, a speech or like a lecture. And you'd also ask if you guys were okay? Oh yeah, constantly. And it was a lot of like interactions, which is quite unique for Zoom, I think. Yeah, I think this year, especially given how a lot of the classes went on Zoom, like you really appreciated it when you felt like a professor was reaching out and okay. trying to get to know you, even though they couldn't be in the class with you or could be, never even meet. So definitely. Since me and Ethne, both Ethne and I, we just finished our first year at Yale. Um, what's one key takeaway you would get? Uh, what's one key takeaway from this year at Yale? Or well, what's one highlight? From this a highlight. Oh, that's hard. That's a hard question. Did you want to answer that first? <laughs> um, one highlight. I think just getting to know people in our year was like amazing. Like, I feel like slowly our year just gradually got to know each other better, and just like it was great to, to know how friendly the students were and how willing to, you know, how easy it was to talk to one another. I think that was one thing that I really appreciated. Um, and I think one thing that I learned being here at Yale was just taking care of my mental health. I think that was really important. Oh, um, not agree more. Yeah, not not constantly working up, uh, working and like just listening to your own body and your own needs. Like it's okay not to work twelve hours straight and like to <laughs> even though we do sometimes. Um, I don't. But. <laughs> um, but yeah, just like taking, uh, just and learning to enjoy the time we've had over here. I think that's one thing that I, I, I take away from this year. That's great. What about you? I guess one thing um, that I learned this year, last semester, or like last school year, was that, okay, it's going to sound a little pathetic, but I mean it positively, which is that I didn't realize Zoom classes could be somewhat fun or like, beneficial for my study because honestly, to be completely honest, I did not have the optimism for online class before coming to Yale. And in fact, I chose to study at Yale because I thought that from the open day, I thought that most of our classes would be in person. However, things didn't turn out that way due to the COVID situations and I completely understand that. And after a whole school year of like studying predominantly on Zoom, I think we really like got used to that software and like we really got used to like mingling and like having interactions online and a lot of the times it was like actually fun. We could really like use the softwares to talk to each other, to like scribble on each other's work and sometimes it really mimicked a real in-person studio experience. Although it still cannot replace the in-person experience, but it was like a nice alternative that actually turned out pretty okay for yeah. me. I think that's a good segue into the last part, which is what we're going to miss at Yale. And I think personally, Zoom was so great because you could wake up at 8.45 for a 9 a.m. class, just roll out oh, of bed, definitely. put on a nice shirt, and uh, be in your sweatpants, and, your, and um, watch class as you eat <laughs> breakfast. Oh, definitely. We didn't do that at all. No, we did Always. not do that at all. <laughs> that's a really bad thing to say. Um, but anyways, um, so overall, how experience? Good, bad, positive? 
Oh, I would say good. And I think things will only get better because next semester we're actually going to implement complete in-person classes if the COVID situation continues to um, get better. I think we're both really curious to see how the school is going to be when it gets mm -hmm. completely in person because we've heard a lot of things from the, and a lot of event, events coming back up. So. Oh, definitely. And I feel like our year as a year group has been through so much changes over the last year. And I feel like just as a year group, it really helped us to bond yeah. because I don't picture this happening ever again, hopefully. And it will be like a completely once in a lifetime study experience. Yes, yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. Um, Ethne also is a YouTuber and she has her own new channel, which we'll put down here. Please check out, yes. <laughs> um, and so yeah, if you like this comment, please tell us why in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. If you'd like to see another collaboration or uh, uh, if you guys like to see us talk about something else, uh, let us know as well. Um, so yeah, thanks again for watching. Thank you, bye.